hello good morning welcome back welcome back to escape forever free i'm your girl faith here we are teaming together to restore physical mental spiritual and social wholeness thank you so much for joining us if you're coming for the first time a very special welcome to you if you are a returning visitor or a subscribed member an extra special welcome back to our channel here we are in this season of our con um kickstart devotional time we are being guided by the book the great controversy we are in chapter 23 what is a sanctuary where we're exploring the sanctuary message and its meaning and application to our lives we are also being guided by the king james version of the bible as our main bible guide as we also use the bible to highlight to reference and to confirm the things that are written in this book. We hope that you grab both copies, King James Version of the Bible and the Great Controversy, the 1888 edition, and join us. We also provide other support here at Escape Forever Free, so please peruse the channel and see what it is among the things that we offer here, such as juicing videos and mental expression and educational talks etc and see what it is can be that could be of benefit for you if you don't already have a one hour alone time um experience plan or pattern in your life we also encourage you to prayerfully consider subscribing to our channel and joining this journey god will bless your efforts and your habits will soon make a part of your character which of course will make us all more prepared for entering into reuniting with our lord and savior jesus christ and our god let us pray and now advance into our routine god we thank you for a new day we thank you for another opportunity to commune with you we also thank you for support that we have in each other please bless the efforts of all of us here who so are making the effort to spend more time with you please draw near to us as we draw near to you because we know you are not slack in your promises and you promise that as we draw near to you you will draw near to us give us our daily portion of bread for today to help us to overcome today perfectly in Jesus' precious name amen all right so let's go into our memory text every week we do commit a text to memory and this week's memory text is coming to us from St. Matthew 15 and verse 28. And it says, Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Again, St. Matthew 15 verse 28. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee even as thou wilt <clears throat> and her daughter was made whole from that very hour may god help us to commit this text to memory to be able to recall it in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls even our very own souls we're going to pick up in chapter um 23 of the great controversy entitled what is the sanctuary last time we were looking into further expounding on the sanctuary message we were looking at the aspect of the mystery of mercy which explores how it is that god can be just while he justifies the repenting sinner and renews his intercourse with fallen race yet at the same time christ also can stoop so low as to come down to this sin cast earth to work among man and to leave all his glory behind so that we can be saved and also that the god who is full of mercy and love is also making his judgment all right so we are um being ex we have been exploring this and how it is that angels and of course other worlds are looking on to see the outplay of this controversy all right so we will continue our reading here in chapter 23 we're going to pick up at page 416.2 which begins with a reference in revelation so you're going to turn your scriptures for me to revelation 1 and verses 5 and it starts at verse 5 i think 5 and 6 is what we will read so please grab your bibles and let's go so it says revelation 1 
verses 5 and 6. And from Jesus Christ, who he is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. All right. Continuing, it says we're further referencing here in St. Luke 1, verses 32 and 33. We're looking at Jesus Christ and his role in the same sanctuary message experience for us. Let's read St. Luke 1, verses 32 and 33. It reads, he shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest and the lord god shall give unto him the throne of his father david and he shall reign over the house of jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end and verse 34 then said many Mary unto the angel, how shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And this was the experience um, of Mary as the Christ was introduced that she would be the carrier of as mother. All right. It says also for new reference again, um, as a priest in Revelation um, 3 verse 21, as a priest, Christ is now set down with the father in the throne so that was christ coming to us as a um baby um but he was introduced to be expected to be the um the one that would be set in charge of the earth all right and of course here it is in revelation 3 let's turn to revelation 3 verse 21 it speaks about his position in the sanctuary it says here to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with my father in his throne. Okay, so that's as a part of the sanctuary experience, which is working for us to overcome sin and death and the grave. All right. And of course, the damnation for those of us who do not turn away from sin all right it says here continuing to read in the controversy upon the throne with the eternal self-existing one is he who hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows who was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin that he might be able to succor them that are tempted if any man we have if any man sin we have an advocate with the father all of these references coming from different texts namely isaiah 53 verse 4 hebrews 4 verse 15 hebrews 2 verse 18 and first john 2 verse 1 continuing to read his intercession is that of a pierced and broken body of a spotless life the wounded hands the pierced side the marred feet all plead for fallen man whose redemption was purchased at such infinite cost so here we're seeing god in his role jesus christ in his role of the sanctuary ministry we will come back for more of that in our next video um, we're going to stop here for today. Let's go to our meditational hymn as we consider these truths that have been revealed to us and we examine them further with further study. All right, so our hymn 4112, cover with his life. We do stanza three. Long in the joy of pardon to know Jesus holds out a robe white as snow Lord I accept it leaving my own gladly I wear thy pure life alone cover 
with his life whiter than snow fullness of his life then shall i know my life of scarlet my sin and woe cover with his life whiter than snow cover with his life whiter than snow let us pray holy father please cover us with the life of jesus christ we pray who made such ultimate and costly sacrifice so that we can be saved help us not to slight his sacrifice and may we too rise with him as he has demonstrated as the first fruit from the dead when you come may we rise with you whether we're living or dead into new jerusalem in jesus precious name we pray amen let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptably in thy sight o lord our strength and our redeemer god bless you please continue now for one are you and god alone and please stick to the blueprint the holy scriptures in them we do have eternal life god bless you